there have been so many recordings, happenings of people risking their lives and losing them in order to attain the summit of Mount Everest. And in a way that feels like insanity. And in another way, it feels like people, in all those cases, being driven to find a high place. So it manifests as a physical high place. But it's something, I believe, that we know inside, that our consciousness belongs in a higher place than we've known. And we are beginning to know more and more of that. So I believe that deep in everybody's consciousness is the same thing. We won't be, well, I don't know that, but I don't think that we'll be climbing Mount Everest to, um, to get to a place that's high enough that makes us feel closer to what. I don't believe we're going to do that. I believe ours is a journey in consciousness and it has always been. It has been for everybody who's found peace and connection in high places. There are so many stories that I'm certainly not going to trouble you by recounting another half a dozen because I don't think I need to. I think all our lives, all of us has known that somewhere, somehow, there's some higher place to be. And some of us have looked for it by moving around, traveling. And some of us have stayed put, hoping, reading lots of things and listening to lots of things and hoping, hoping somewhere is going to be this clue to what it is that I'm longing for that's unnameable. That's describing my own experience. But when it came along, I did know it. So embarking on that journey towards higher consciousness, which, as I said, is a, that is what the journey is. That's an inner job. And I know that there are points along the way, certainly were for me, and I've seen it play out for so many other people, where I thought initially the excitement some nervousness because I didn't know where this journey was leading. It was so exciting and it was what was needed just in the same way as a, I understand that a jet plane, most of its fuel is used up in taking off. And I think that's true in this kind of a journey too. So there's all the excitement and the nervousness, as I said. And then at a certain point, Looking around, I'm seeing I'm still the same person. Um, and I'm still doing the same things as I did before. There's nothing particularly grand about what I'm doing. What happened? So that signals the end of the honeymoon period. There was enough impetus to get going, enough momentum. And now we're into the work. And it's such good work. And it's such true work, and it's such real work, because we're not here to try to escape being a human. We're here to fully incarnate into this human. So, so we've, we've all of us embarked on this journey. Whatever level we're at, going back to the mountain, whatever stage of the mountain we're on, we're all on this journey. Some are further ahead than others. Those are the responsibility for those is to lend a hand to those who are coming up behind and those who are behind to actually see and keep confident that there is a way up. All metaphors, but some of the biggest truths I know are spoken in metaphors. <laughs>